The Catholic Church and its supporters say Parliament in the Democratic Republic of Congo is not legitimate. Hundreds marched to the Parliament building in the capital, Kinshasa. We are the owners of Parliament. We have noticed that MPs are not playing by the rules, simply because they were not elected by us in the last election. They are serving the interests of individuals. This is why we are marching to demand the dissolution of this Parliament and calling for a deep electoral reform. The protesters say the last elections were rigged by an electoral commission that favours former President Joseph Kabila. They're demanding electoral reforms before the next election in three years' time. Kabila stood down in the last election about 18 months ago, but he's widely seen to still be the most powerful person in Congo. Felix Chisikedi took over. He was announced the winner, although leaked documents show he lost to opposition. Chisikedi's power depends on a fragile alliance with Kabila and his party. The protests are happening as the alliance is increasingly strained. Both factions want to control the electoral commission, known as CENI. I'm not sure if Felix Chekedi's own coalition will really like to have a fully independent electoral, uh, electoral commission. One thing to, uh, to remember with this CENI is that the, the results that the CENI proclaim I uh, was both beneficial to Kabila and Chisekedi. Police stopped the demonstration when it reached the road leading to Parliament. This time, it ended peacefully. The Catholic Church is influential in Congo. It has millions of supporters and can call them to the street. It's promised weekly protests. But dissolution of Parliament looks unlikely for now, with Kabila's party still firmly in control. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera.